Tuluku as they start the new year. The country's government is also facing opposition resistance on how it's handling SADC recommended constitutional and security reforms. The streets of the Lesotho capital, Maseru, and here, business is back in full swing after the year-end holidays. But on the minds of many, whether the current coalition government will stay in power this year. And the reason, because the Prime Minister's party has officially split and his deputy, Munyani Muleleki, has formed a new party and announced that he will be challenging government openly. The DCNEC suspended its leader and Prime Minister, Bagadi Tamu Sisidi, and Musisidi suspended the NEC and called a special conference to endorse his decision. Both parties went to court and the High Court ruled in favor of Musisidi. The special conference has decided to suspend them. And that was the last straw. The Alliance of Democrats is a new party that I launched about eight weeks ago after breaking away from my former party of four years, the DC. The aim to be part of a grand coalition of national unity, he has signed a pact with the opposition Obasutu Convention. And he has the support of 42 out of 120 members of parliament. And the ABC and ourselves, the AD, between us, even with the departure of two members from the ABC, have a control over one, no, 74 seats in parliament, which is a far cry, a lot better than the current government, which has only 42. So the plan is to have a change of government. But the motion of no confidence needs a vote in a parliament now on a break. Ten MPs have gone to court demanding it to be opened. The court has postponed that case to January 23rd. But if the vote of no confidence does happen, the Prime Minister will not take it lying down. Even if I lose a vote of no confidence, I will not resign. I will advise the King to dissolve parliament and call for election. Also expected to attract attention, constitutional and security reforms that started with an opposition walkout. And all the Basutu and South Africa should be participating in this process. But plans for the reforms stakeholder conference are underway. After consulting all the stakeholders, we can now have a process. We can agree on how the process should Unfold. And NGOs want to change the government approach. Or do we want an independent convener that will be able to bring everybody together? So the gov government will be one of the stakeholders into that. Though they will play a major role in terms of uh, funding the process. Whatever the outcome, the year ahead, one to look out for. Ntakwana Ngadani, SABC News, Maseru Lesotho.